good morning everyone so I drove up to the high country yesterday and uh, met a dude on the Vic High Country 4 drivers page on Facebook who let me stay at his property for last night and tonight and then we're gonna head out tomorrow um, we are gonna be heading out and checking out the Ned Kelly tree um, where he shot the two policemen today so we're not taking my car for that one, we'll be in his uh, 75 series cruiser, twin locked, with a bush basher, um, yeah, well, this place is beautiful, um, rain's on and off at the moment, so I'm under my awning here, I'm just trying to get a fire going, so we can cook up some brekkie, that's going to be a while, so yeah, I'll flip the camera around guys and show you like what I'm seeing right now. Not a bad way to wake up, that's for sure. A little bit cold last night. Um, I didn't get too cold though. Crash pad sleep system did its job. And uh, yeah. So here, uh, his name, the guy's name here is Brett. A really cool guy. Um, he built a hut on his own property. Out here. On his partner's property. And uh, yeah, it's here at the back there. I'll come and show you. So that's the property guys, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome out here, hopefully I can get some food happening and uh, yeah we'll get on our way, check out this other place, so I'm set up just here, um, I do have an awning wall, probably should have got a side one as well, but yeah there's a lot of moisture under that awning, so it's very damp up here. All right, so this is Brett. Give him a thumbs up. Hey, you going? How you going? Yeah, so uh, we're heading out to work. The Kelly tree. Yeah. I think your car was cut. <laughs> Just the glow plugs.
Jesus. So I met him. Gee, when did that come down? No, I reckon not. It's not. Yeah, it's pretty rotten up there, eh? Yeah. I don't know if I could drive over that or not. I probably wouldn't. Nah, you'll get hung up on that easy. You'll get hung up here. Yeah. I reckon cut through on there and just pull it back. Yeah, right. Down that way. Probably going to be the easiest way to I'll do it. The chainsaw, eh? Cut through that small bit. Yeah, or a small bit or whatever. I'm just saying if you go up that way, you can roll, it'll roll down the hill. Yeah. So. All right. Get here. So we've got the big farm boss here for the big tree. So. <laughs> <laughs>
reckon? Yeah, which way are you winching? Uh, you gonna winch up that way? Pull it back this way. Pull yeah. back off and the whole thing from up there? Yeah, right. I reckon. I might okay. just put a drag chain on it, mate. Yeah, man, yeah, just drag it back, whatever. All right, I'll, I'll go high side over here. All right, so plan is to uh, drag it back from up here and roll it off down into the bush so we can clear the track. And we've got the, got the dogs. So who we got? Ticker and Champ, yeah? Is that right? Oh, and, and Gypsy. Champ and Gypsy. Oh, all in here. All the dogs in the dog box. Need a hand at all, you're up. And then we got Mitch. He's up in the sky. Watching us, hopefully. I'll be Mitch. So who is Mitch? Uh, Mitch is my son. Oh, your son? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what seen um. Yeah, that's not good. Had a bit of an accident. He's not here anymore, unfortunately. Uh, he's with me every day. Yep, that's what you want. Yeah, as much as it hurts. Way it is, mate. Mm. You can always get your change tagged by a by a uh, <laughs> electrician. <laughs> <laughs> it's rated for two forty volt this chain. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, mate. <laughs> What's that? I don't know if you want to put a dampener over it or it ain't. No. Hey, you don't think we need it? I'm going to stand back here right. anyway. Some people would. Some people would. I might come up here for a better pull, eh? Yeah. Yeah, pull up on this side. Yeah. You have to kind of go two wheels back, I think. Down. Yeah. Just off the track here. Alright, I'm going to move over the other side. Just drop the start up the uh, slipping five and Try and clear this so we can keep going. So what's your technique? Just slow drag? Yeah. Yeah. So I say. Don't to go full send with it. Because we're running uh a bit high pressure. I'm wanting to stick my lockers in so I'm not spinning so much. Yep. Easy. Alright, we're gonna stand back here safely. So we put his twin lockers in. We can go around it. <laughs> we can go around it. We can drag the other half off too. It's not like anyone's going to be flying around there. No. Motorbike's got plenty of room. All right. We can if you want, but yeah. All right, if you reckon that's it. If you want to clear the track, we can. Someone will come along and cut it for firewood the next couple of days, maybe. Oh, it's a bit rotten. Yeah, it was. Oh, I didn't expect it to snap where it snapped either. Nah. Well, if it was on a dangerous band, I'd drag the whole lot, but. Yeah. I don't think we really have to. Motorbike's got clear vision. Yeah, we can't roll that, can we? We can get around it. I think we're going to Yeah, we can. 
so that's why you're there like that probably be fine yeah we can drag it on back if you want to but nah probably just going to snap at the bottom bit hey yeah no i probably would well where you cut it it'll snap anyway then yeah all right guys there you go that's as much as we're going to do that gives us top yeah Not that's hundreds. as much as we're going to do uh, that allows us to get around and um well we'll continue on up this track so um, yeah, that's pretty rotten. So yeah, it's come down last night, we reckon. So, all right. And we've got the crew here. Hey, crew. <laughs> Got a bit of a leak there. Ah, uh, maybe a little one. Yeah, on the front one, I broke it my long ago. Might need a bit of tape on it. God, slipping. Uh, 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 right. Oh, I have a bit of a leak here, right? It's alright, though, it's still popping up. Alright, round we go. Good work, sir. <laughs> Didn't take long, did it? Nah when you have the equipment. So yeah, that was on a blind corner to move the lot, but yeah, all good. So if you don't have a, uh, a drag chain like that, yeah. just winch that out of the way. Yeah. Take a bit longer, but... They don't work, I actually use it a lot. Uh, again, for me, it's like, that's something I'd have to have space for. Yeah, heavy. So. All right. Fairly good though, the old drag chains. Trucks won't get too many big trees, mate, because we have uh, got some small chainsaws, really. Do, yeah, do the yeah. job, though. Well, effectively, like with your with your chainsaw, um, you'd be able to get through anything that's double length of your bar, anyway. Yeah, that's right. So I haven't yeah. got a bigger one there, but needs to be help. You get like a 14-inch bar. You still get like 20 inches of cutting, you just got to yeah, take a little bit. So, and that's a fairly big diameter log. Fairly Tr big trees come down, though. Yeah. That was a baby. <laughs> no, it was decent, but... This is why when you come out here, carry a chainsaw with you. If that was me and I'd come out here and I didn't have my chainsaw, then I'd be kind of screwed. I'd have to turn around and go back. No way around it. Unless I'd drag it out with a snatch strap or something, but... Well, I might have got away from that one because it's rotten. Yeah. Not without the chainsaw, not where it broke. Maybe, not always. Nice up here. It's not bad, it's it better. Like very rain, almost very rainforesty, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Almost. State, state forest. Yeah, a lot of people come out here, it's sort of, a lot of people don't know about it, but you get a few people out here like hunting, motorbike riding, because it is a quiet a part. Yeah. So you get a lot of the same crowd, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Because it, it is a bit quieter.
Um, yeah, so we just stopped. And uh, this, this is the view we got over here. I'm not sure about it, really see it. Not a real clear day, but... Kind of hard to see on the GoPro, but um, yeah, so it's really nice view. So, where's Bulla? Right in the background. Yeah, the highest one in the background yeah, there. Down Bulla. So, there you go. Oh my god, now your window don't want to come up. No, no, I'm a bit, unless you want to. Yeah, it's because it's cold. Need some of that arm. Um, get it open up, probably. Probably get it open up. Yeah, hold that. I'll let you do that. No. Bloody different in winter. <coughs> Need some, uh, just some dry lube in the, ch in the channels. Yeah, right. Um, That'll fix it. Graphite on here. Yeah. Well, uh, get the, get the, the dry lube yeah, stuff. Right. Yeah, way better. It's like a silicon, but it's dry. Oh, I'll get the cold, get some from work. Yeah, your best bet. Be a sponsor for them. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm gonna kill the camera now, and I'll, uh, I'll cut back to you guys when we get to Stringy Bar Creek. Alright, so we're heading down to Stringy Bar Creek now. Um, yeah, this is where... The Kelly tree is. The Kelly tree is, yeah, where he shot the, uh, shot the two cops. So we'll uh, head down here, check it out. Shot the coppers. They call them coppers. So what was the story? Why did you shoot him? Oh, um, well, they were after him. Yeah. And it was, was it like a, a, a surrender now? Or come with yeah, us? Or yeah, yeah, they like come. A, like a standoff? Um, yeah, they come up to his camp. They were looking for him. Yep. And um, one of them went to pull their gun and Ned shot one of them. That's how the whole story started. Like, yeah, what is better alive? Yep. And then they shot another one. I think they shot two. One got away. Headed back to Mansfield and they sent out a party looking for them. They burn all this bush around here to burn them out, try and burn them out. Oh, did they? Yeah, they lit okay. fires everywhere. Yeah. Try and burn them out, but they got, got them after that. And um, yeah, covered a lot of ground though from Mansfield here to Benalla, Wingaratta, Glen Rowan, Yaroa. Saw one horseback too, wasn't it? It's a fair bit of ground. On um, horseback or on foot? No, nah, horseback. Horseback? Yeah. yeah. So there's some Australian history for you. So yeah, we'll get to check out this tree. Yeah, it's all down here. And, uh, pretty cool, never seen anything to do with Ned Kelly before. No. So, no. But, you know, I've read stories and studied it at school and that type of thing back in, back in my school days. But shit, that's like 20 years ago. Yeah, well, the cops were very corrupt back in the day, yeah. Yeah, you'd pay them off, wouldn't you? They were really corrupt. They used yeah. to, um, yeah, the thieves would rustle the cattle over New South Wales border. Yeah. And the coppers would re-brand uh, them. Yep. Yeah. And the New South Wales cops and sell them back to Victoria and re-brand them. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's all there here, on, all here on the sign. Cool. Well, here we are, guys. So. So we'll hop out, we'll, uh, we'll check that out. Yeah, have a look, mate. Some people down here checking it out. You guys get your own loader, okay? The Stringy Bar Creek. And if you guys want to have a read of this, I'll just slowly scroll down through it. So yeah, here you go, we were just talking about the stock theft. So, drive bobs of stolen cattle from Victoria or across the Murray, where they impound our New South Wales police. Um, thie and the thieves attended the sale when the police would dispose of them, pretty much, and uh, buy them back to, and send them back to Victoria. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Rebrand them. <laughs> Rebrand, eh? 
cops were a part of it. That's it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so it's all good. All down there? Oh, just a wonder. Yeah. You have a can for Ned. Have a can? <laughs> can for Ned. Should have got the Ned can. Ned can? It's a Ned can. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walk the cameras over, eh? So, is this the tree, is it? Nah, it's around the corner. I think the original one's actually fallen down. They've oh, marked another one. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, mate. That's one of the police officers. Yeah, I think two of them are shot. That's the two. There's a sergeant. All right, so we're going to go for a walk and check out the actual, well, the site of where the tree used to be. We've replanted it since because trees don't last forever, apparently. <laughs> Just like we saw that one across the road there. Once they fall down, that's it. They go rotten. I don't know the full story. The original could still be here, but I'm not sure. I oh, know this one's not. I don't know. Do you? People don't know. So yeah, this is the site where they where he shot him. So close as can be. His armor. That's his armor, is it? <laughs> or a replica? Replica of the armor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There you go, it's like the helmet. Yeah, it's just a bit of steel, isn't it? Yeah, no, that'll be like weather. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Says Kelly. That's good clean. It's obviously been there a long time, though. Yeah, this is, a, this is 1187 down the bottom. Uh, Don't know what that is, though. No, I think it's 90. Oh. Uh, I don't know what that is. No. 187, isn't it? Yeah, something. This is up here. The swags have come a long way. Yep. And just a bit of rag over over a branch. That's about there we go. Yeah, did you? I'll take you in the camp here. See yeah, no worries. Check that out. Pretty nice, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come back. So this is the uh, Hella Historic Grave. Um, there's a story behind it. What's over there? Which is over here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get you to explain it then. <laughs> we'll yeah. just look on the boards. I'll probably get it wrong. <laughs> Fair idea, uh, then, if you know. So Emma Sophia Heller. She was a local resident that was buried here during a particular particularly severe winter in 1889. Uh, she was born on the 1st of February 1848 in London. She's one of six children. And you come over by ship before she turned 20, tried New Zealand, met some dude, got married. You know what? Might just let you read this, I think. From 
there hopefully you might need to pause this one guys just to give it a read because i'm not going to read it out so i'm running low on battery i want to save some for powers you're doing your phone what's that when we go to powers you want to be filming yeah So yeah, so this is her grave. Memorial. A memorial for her? No, so it's for someone else, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's a no, he's the son of the late Mrs. Emma yeah, Heller. Yeah, a memorial. Okay. So she had quite a few husbands. Lost a few kids. Mm. So northeast is like um supposed to be like a homestead. Yeah. Remains of a homestead. Yeah, I think it's just chimney though. Yeah. See. Yeah, not worth, not worth checking out. Oh, pretty scratching track. Uh, not gonna do that. Alright, and where are we where are we going to next? Powers look out. Powers Lookout. Alright, so Powers Lookout, here we come. Alright, so we're at the Powers Lookout. So, Harry Powell was a bush ranger. Um, in the 70s, visitors, blah, blah, blah. You use this natural vantage point to look out for approaching police. So, there you go. So, we can do a big lookout. He's got two lookouts. And, um, yeah, this is a bloke with a sick beard. There you go, he taught Ned. He taught Ned, did he? <laughs> there you go, so he taught Ned Kelly to be a bush ranger. The uh, powers of influence, eh? <laughs> so there you go, so Ned Kelly. This was Ned Kelly, um, with his helmet and everything. So the people here. So yeah, there we go. So he conducted many robberies. Um, death came by drowning in 1891. A passing seabird uncovered a body that turned out to be Harry Power. He apparently fell into Murray River while drinking. So. Uh, yeah, didn't die from being a bush ranger. Died from getting pissed and drowning. Well, let's go check out the lookout. Yeah, that's pretty funny, hey? Save that for the next lookout. Don't let that run out. Oh, I've got 8%. <laughs> but we'll oh, check out this yeah. one. Check out this one, it's pretty pretty impressive. Wow, that's awesome. King River will be going down there. Oh, yeah? How good is that? What a view. Pretty like impressive. Like Pretty impressive. Mm. Be nice to live down there. Yeah, we'll go down there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I'll take you to the Primo now. Alright. Not really. Not as far as the north now. Make sure you get down the bottom. <laughs> She is a bit of a drop. Yeah. And my battery's gone to 10%. Really? Yeah. What a drop. Mm. What a view. How good is that for a view, guys? Not bad at all.
Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go guys, bit of fun.